How can you create a great daily planner in one note? Let's find out. So by the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So how can we do it? And what are really the seven steps that we're, what we're gonna jump right in, yeah? I'm gonna share with you the first step here. The first step is really, you wanna create a template. You wanna create a template, that's so important. So you jump over here, you add page, yeah? And just put what I like to put, I like to put the template at the top. Yeah, so we wanna create a template. The reason we want to create a template is so we can for every day make a copy of it. Yeah, and also we can have a history, which I'm gonna go a little bit later into, all right? But you gotta create a template first. And this then, after we create the template, this brings us to step number two. And step number two is very, very, very critical. Oops, I changed the color here. Okay, here we go. And that is creating categories. What are the categories of your life that really, really matter? So we go back into our template, yeah, and we're gonna create a table this time. Yeah, we're gonna create a table. And in this table, what we want to create, right, on the left side, we wanna create the categories. The right side soon will be the actions that you wanna take on a daily basis, but category first, all right? So again, focus on categories that are important for your life. So here are a couple of mine. One thing I gotta do here quickly, yeah, just so you can see it better here inside YouTube, I gotta make the font bigger so you can more, a little bigger at least, so you can more easily see it. Let's try 14, okay, perfect. So first category for me would be my online business, right? Second category for me would be my corporate training business. Third category for me would probably be my YouTube channel, maybe my social media, right? After that would come my energy, my health, my relationships is a major category for me, even though I can't spell it right now. <laughs> Money is another area. And of course, personal growth as well. And for you too, you create these categories any way you want. It's your life. You design your life the way you want, but do it now, put down your categories. Excellent. So once you get your categories, once you're done with that, this is one of the most important steps you want to use colors. Yeah, for each of the categories, we now want to assign a color. And most people never do that in their daily planning, but it's so, so powerful. Because again, half our brain works with colors. <laughs> yeah, so do it for your daily planning, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually, yeah, use colors for everything. So what does it look like for your daily planner? Well, and by, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check out the weekly planner as well if you're interested in that. But how do you check and use these colors? Yeah, how do you do it? So for my online business, in my case, I would choose orange. So we now wanna assign a color to each of these that is different from all the other areas. My corporate training business, my company is in lime green. Yeah, that's our logo, that's our brand, so it's lime green. YouTube, usually I would pick which color? Yeah, you say red now, but I assign red to a different area. So I usually have this lighter, lighter red. Yeah, energy for me personally, energy in my health is yellow, bright like the sun, energy like the sun. <laughs> That's why, right? And can you guess where red goes? Yeah, you got it. It's exactly to my relationships because that's where my heart is, right? For family and friends. For money, me personally, I assign a kind of a light blue. And for my personal growth, I always pick like a very, very light orange yeah so again you choose the colors that you want you can do that right now or you can do it at the end of the video as well and then the next step we want to take after we're done with using colors we want to start brainstorming basically for each of these categories what do we have to do what do we have to do so in my case maybe for online i have two coaching sessions that are already scheduled yeah and again you can always make as much space here as you like by the way Right, for corporate, I might have to write a proposal. No corporate training date today. Right, for YouTube, film one video. For energy, I might do my weight training on that day. Right, for relationships, uh, dinner with friends. Right, for money, could be my daily check the finances, check my numbers. And for growth, right, take some online training, take 15 minutes 
basically to not online train no no right online training right uh, to learn to learn something right a new program that i might be taking at least 15 minutes or more so these are a couple of actions it can it can be more it can be less yeah it can be more it's up to you it's really up to you which then brings us to step number five right where you really want to prioritize your most important actions of the day yes yeah, so you look over all of these what are kind of your top three priorities for today that absolutely have to be done? Yeah, and what I like to do, I like to basically assign them like this. P1, my priority one today are the two coaching sessions that I gotta have, right? Priority number two might be on this day, right? That I film my YouTube video. It's gotta be absolutely be done. Priority number three, might be dinner with friends. And again, every day is different. You don't know. You might have a lot on the list. You might have less. Oops, wrong thing here. Yeah. Bolt, okay, good. So again, dinner with friends could be priority number three. So prioritize, what are your top three priorities for the day? And then after you've done the prioritizing, great job, by the way. Yeah, then comes step number six. And here's really where you want to schedule. And just so you know, I'm going to show you three different ways how people you how you can do it, how people usually do it, and then you schedule it basically in. So what we will do over here one more time, you go to insert, you click on table, and then you're going to create a very, very simple table again. And here we got the time here. We got actions. Yeah, one more time. We want to keep everything very simple I make it a quicker font size, so it's better to see, even if you look from a small uh, screen, I hope. <laughs> so we got your time, we got your actions. Okay, very good. I'm a little bit in the way here. Again, you can use more space when you create it later by yourself, yeah? So we got your time, we got your actions. Now here is what, where you gotta make a decision. Yeah, and that's what I mean by the three different ways. There are usually, yeah, Again, from having worked with so many corporations and with so many different people on their productivity, on their time management, there are usually three types of people. Yeah, there are people who are either very detailed, okay, or who are very, very big picture and don't like too much structure because it takes away their freedom. Or there are people who are somewhat in the middle. Yeah, who are somewhat in the middle. So for example, for somebody who's extremely, extremely detailed, yeah, let's say, let's say you start at 7 a.m. Yeah, you would create your daily schedule 7, then you would put 7.15. Oops, that's not a 7. <laughs> then you would put 7.30. Yeah, so these are the people, they plan that they usually in 15-minute incrementals, maybe 30 minutes. So if this is you, then you can create it this way. Sometimes you have to uh, schedule the morning over here, and then you make another list on the right side for that. And that works for some people very, very well. Yep. And then there are the people who are not, don't care about that many details, but they just do every hour. 9, 10, 11, right, 12, etc. And you go down the list and you create it that you want, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from whatever time you want to start today until you basically want to finish. Or then there are people who are very freedom oriented. They don't like too much structure. They know they get things done anyway, even without the structure. They need a general timeline in which kind of time box they're going to create. I belong to that too. So for me, for example, eight is gone. <laughs> yeah, the eight is gone. I just have nine, 10, 11 are gone. And then I will just have more space here. Uh, one is gone because 12 to two, I try to usually take my break if possible. And then the rest is gone too. So I have a long afternoon and then everything comes after 6 p.m. So this is mine. Yeah, this again, you don't have to do this. And then what I do, I look at, okay, my coaching sessions, for example, right? I have one again, when you schedule this in, very, very critical, yeah? We have prioritized, now we want to schedule. Prioritizing comes first, and then also when you schedule it in, you have to focus on your priorities first. It's also known as put the big, big rocks in first. Yeah, have you ever uh, learned anything from Stephen Covey? It goes beyond this video now, okay? But put the big rocks in first. So 9 a.m. I have coaching session number one. 
and maybe 10 a.m. I have coaching session number two, right? So we're done right there. That will go until 11. Now look at my other stuff, okay? Filming, right, the video. Of, do I want to do it right after the coaching session? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, yeah? But for this day, let me just put it, film the YouTube video at 2 p.m. So priority number two done. Dinner with friends, priority number three, right? Maybe 6 30 p.m. Right? And I will have probably already scheduled it because that's what I tend to usually do. <laughs> and then so I got that and beautiful. Now look at all the other stuff here. My, and again, you can also copy and paste, by the way. I don't know why I'm writing everything out right now. That, the proposal I do here, I don't even put the time there because I know I will just get it done in the time box. My finances, I will check in the afternoon, the learning basically as well. And again, I got time left to schedule something else. And you, one more time, you go as detailed as you want, yeah, whatever works best for you, uh, or you go as simplified as I like to usually do it because I know I'm gonna get things done anyway. But schedule it in the way it works for you. Excellent, my friend. Now comes the final step, which is step number seven. And step number seven is really about creating kind of a timestamp and then creating an archive. So you can basically have it. So I've already done it over here on the left. You can see the archive, right? So we've created the template. Now here's what you got to do. Here's what you got to do. Once a day, basically when you do your daily planning, I like to keep D at the front. What I like to do, yeah, and today for example is 2023, December 29th. Yeah, so I like to put the exact date at the front. So if in the future, I can actually go back and check what did I actually do on that date. Yeah, so I got this. And when the day is done, I just put it here in the archive and that's pretty much it. So everything here is basically very, very organized. Now, one last thing we got to do because we put the template in. So we got to delete everything. So for the future, and then I create it usually the way I like to use it anyway. So here you got the template. And then when the next day comes, you just go here, right? Copy, paste. And again, you put in whatever number it is. I like to go year and then the month. And then this would be basically for tomorrow. Yeah, so it's very important you create a timestamp and then you can move it over to your archive. So in the future, you can see, you can easily go back to any date that you want to find. So this is how you can create a daily planner in OneNote. Yeah, in a great way, simple. Again, the setup is the only thing that's difficult. But if you do it alongside with me in the video, it takes you like five minutes. And you're set for the future. You can make changes anytime you want. Yeah, OneNote is so versatile. That's why I love it. Yeah, it's on my computer. It's on my phone. Wherever I walk, I know everything. Everything is synced. It's just beautiful. I can go back and find things easily. I can use the search button here as well. Yeah, it works so well. So by the way, let me know in the comments down below one time, what was your greatest takeaway? Did you enjoy the video? Yeah, again, if you haven't done it yet, so hit the subscribe button, guys, okay? Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.